Last year, I harvested the, um, is this the alder? Yeah, the alder um, bark last year, and we stored it in the freezer, um, and the color come out like comes out a lot more than it does when it's fresh, and so it makes a really good tannin product. I normally help my grandma harvest this, so it, it kind of helps me learn the ropes of what, what she's learned and taught me too. Um, what else? How long did it take you to gather that much? Uh, to gather this much, I don't know, probably like an hour. Not very long. It goes by really quick, especially using the potato peeler too. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then these were just put into what, uh, what size Ziploc bag? Um, this one was a two a gallon. Yeah. yeah, a gallon Ziploc bag, and then we just put it in the freezer and it just stored it away. And we can still use it for tanning fish skins now. Yep. And, oh, that's right. Something wonderful oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. This Here's what big printers I was using last year, too. <laughs> those, are, those work really good. Yeah, sure they work really good for to get thick, the real fat ones. Yeah, the really thick branches. Yeah. Um, one thing I almost forgot to talk about in the, um, the tanning solution is when when you're using uh, willow bark or birch bark uh, and mixing it with organic dyes you don't have to use a mordant because there is a natural mordant in in um, these shavings right here from the from the bushes and mm -hmm. the trees yeah so that's really a cool neat yeah, thing it is. So here we go. We have all of these peeled and this is our young, really young peelings from the cottonwood tree out there. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of non-iodized salt to this. Now salt is a preservative and salt helps to kill bacteria. And then I'm going to add water. You can use filtered water in this. So now I'm going to get this started. And I'm going to turn the heat up high. I want to, I want to get that started. And I'm going to add more water. And that should be enough right there. I'm putting enough water in here to cover uh, the, the shredded bark. I'm going to bring it to a boil, then I'm going to turn the heat down to simmer it for two hours. So what I'm going to do is open my windows and have the uh, air flowing through the house uh, because I don't want to breathe too much of this in. I'm going to go into another room and turn a TV, turn the, get Netflix on and enjoy that for a couple hours. Of course, I'll come out here to check on it. And if I see that the water's evaporating, I'll add more water to it to keep the level up. Then I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to leave this pot right here, put a lid on it and let it cool off overnight. I'm going to be putting a half a tablespoon of cream of tartar into this. So here goes a half a tablespoon. And then we're going to put a full tablespoon. Let's turn the back burner on. Nice. So we wanted to double check something with um, birch bark. And in the book that we found, they use the bark, outer bark and inner bark. But I want to get a real nice color that doesn't have that dark 
brown bark color in it. And we're going to add alum. And we're going to use less, so I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of alum in this. My mom used alum in everything. And cream of tartar. Whoops. So we're going to push, put that in there, stir it up. And this was, it came to a boil. Now I want to be sure to simmer it. And it's already changing color. It's already so beautiful. So we've got this, but I think the longer that the alum and the tartar, crew of tartar are in here, the more we'll see uh, a change in the color. And I'm hoping to attain a rosy color. We need the color to leach out of the inner bark and by taking the outer bark off of here, keeping it away from the dye bath, it'll keep it from turning a dark brown color. I'm going to let this simmer for another hour and then I'm going to let it steep overnight and see what happens. And if I need to allow it to steep longer, then I'll let it steep until our class happens in how many days will that be? Um, so today six is, days. yeah, six days. And I know um, that birch bark, people in the past have used birch bark, but it takes a long time to extract the dye out of the inner bark. It's not a quick process. Look at that, that is turning nicely. It's pretty.